Turkey has something for everyone, which I think makes it a, a really attractive destination. Whether you're interested in bustling cities, in ancient cities, in spectacular landscapes in, in Cappadocia and on the coast, or in local experiences such as cookery courses, pottery making, or, or whirling dervish ceremonies, it's a, it's a country that's rich in, in landscape and, and history and experience. My favourite historical site in Turkey was the ancient city of Temesos and it's simply because it's completely untouched and off the touristy trail so you really felt like you were discovering it yourself for the very first time and it's also unique because it was a civilization that wasn't uh, as big as the Romans or the Greeks it was the Pisidian civilization which are largely unknown. My favourite place to visit, or perhaps the one that took me by surprise the most, was a little town called Chirali, which is down in the south, and the closest big town to that is Antalya. And the reason I liked it so much is because it has the most spectacular mountain scenery. It's a really popular area for walks along the Lycian Way, but the mountains immediately meet the turquoise coast, they immediately meet the sea, so the, the scenery down there is breathtaking. My favourite experience whilst visiting Turkey was actually a cooking course with a, a local family um, and what was so special about it was that you really did feel as if you were part of the family that had come home after a long stay and your mum was making your favourite dinner that you'd been looking forward to all that time. In a country like Turkey that's got a number of amazing sites and, um, and, and special places to see in different landscapes it's really difficult to pick a favourite place. I was particularly interested in the Roman history of, of Ephesus and Aphrodisias, but perhaps the, the site that took me most by surprise was the waterfalls called Canushlu down at Antalya. They're about a 20 minute drive from Antalya and they're, they're nestled within a national, a national park. Um, they've got some beautiful lagoons there and it's a really nice stop for a picnic, but it might not be the first thing that everybody thinks about when they think of Turkey. My favourite place to stay in Turkey is the Chiden Hotel in Al Chatti, uh, simply because it has one of the nicest welcomes of any hotel I've had anywhere, and it has some of the best food as well, which is quite important for Turkey. And especially the nicest thing about the food was the homemade jams that they had, which is all made by the owner's mother. Um, if I had to pick a favourite property, I'd say the Pera Palace in Istanbul would be, would be my favourite. Um, it's one of the, the oldest properties in the city and it was a popular haunt of Agatha Christie and Ernest Hemingway and it's still got a lot of its original features so it's still got this spectacular wrought iron lift right in the middle of the, the property and some beautiful art deco mirrors which were lovely um, and I can personally recommend the, the afternoon tea that you can get in the lobby area, it's a really nice thing to do after a day exploring. Turkish cuisine is varied and delicious and it's especially good for vegetarians. My favourite dish in Turkey is kabak tatlisi, which is a kind of candied pumpkin dessert which really surprised me um, and I had it nearly every dessert that I could. <laughs>